first step, I've already moisturized my face uh, with a SPF moisturizer. Now I'm going to use a translucent powder and a fluffy brush to put this all over and just like this, gonna press it into the skin. Just to prep the skin, get all the shine out. Okay, next use a setting spray and spray your face. While you wait for the setting spray to dry, fill in your eyebrows. So I'm gonna go fill my eyebrows and I'll be right back. Okay, so now my eyebrows are filled just a little bit, not too much, cause this is an everyday look. So now that your setting spray is dry, you're gonna use a primer and I'm using the e.l.f. Uh, Poreless Putty Primer. This is amazing and super inexpensive. So I'm gonna use this just a little bit and I'm going to just put it all over the face, mostly in the center of the face. So. Under the eyes, really push it on the skin to fill all the pores. Okay. So now we're gonna do some color correction and I'm gonna use the MAC Prep and Prime in the Peach Luster shade. And I'm gonna put it here where it's a little bit dark. Right here, you can see my dark circles and around the nose a little bit here because it's a little bit dark here and I have some dark spots here so I'm going to cover that okay then you want to use a brush or you can use your pinky finger not sorry not your pinky finger your ring finger and you just want to melt this into the skin so I'm just going to quickly buff it into the skin like this Just gently buff, push it, keep the color where you need it and just push this into the skin. The orange peach color gets rid of your dark circles. If you put concealer or foundation on first, it will make your dark circles look gray it will make you look like a ghost with very dark circles. You don't want that. Next, using the same brush, or again, you can use your ring finger. Um, I'm gonna use this brush. I'm gonna take a little bit of my concealer. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC30. So this is not lighter than my skin. It is exactly my skin color. Um, so I'm gonna put just a dot, like it's not a lot on my brush. And I'm gonna just first dot it where I want it. So just put a couple dots, a little bit on the nose, a little bit on the forehead. And then I'm gonna start just pushing this into the skin. A little bit on the lid just to make it brighter. And then here, just keep it very close to your under eye area. No need to go on your cheeks. You don't need to brighten up or highlight your cheeks. Just keep it concentrated. And then down the nose. forehead and just carefully around the eyebrows carefully carefully 
and this doesn't need to be perfect. We're gonna go in with a foundation brush and we're gonna just really put this in the skin, like buff it into the skin. So that's done. Next, you wanna use a foundation brush like this one, very dense, thick brush. And you just wanna push the concealer into the skin. Make sure all the edges are blended out. Okay, once you're happy with that, you wanna take your translucent powder and a round brush like this, or you could use a beauty blender or whatever you have, and you just wanna pack this under your eyes so it doesn't crease. So I'm just gonna pack it under the eyes like that. Now for foundation, I am using my beloved Makeup Forever um, Melvit, Melvit, Matte Velvet Skin in uh, Y245. This is beautiful on the skin. It covers all your little blemishes and your marks and everything. Um, let me show you how much I love this. I love it so much that I have almost nothing left. <laughs> so don't mind the sponge. It's dirty because I've used it a lot. But the black side of the sponge, this is supposed to be black, it uh, gives you full coverage. This side, which is the lighter side, gives you a lighter coverage, but I like to use this side. So I'm going to pick some product up on my brush, or sorry, my sponge. And then I'm going to start by just putting it all over, including the eyelids. Be careful of the eyebrows because we already filled them in, but we can always fix them after. So I like to do one side of my face and then do the other side. So let's do this side and I'm just going to use this. You're gonna push in here. Don't pull it, just push under your eyes. And then just sweep it on your face. Using a powder foundation that gives you full coverage like this, you can skip so many steps. You don't need to worry about blending your liquid foundation out and then putting powder on top and all that. This is just super easy. This foundation I think is like $50. Um, and I usually use like the MAC powder foundation, but MAC does not have this much coverage. This is like flawless skin. So, I highly recommend it. It is well worth the $50. I use this every single day when I'm going to work or I just have some errands to run on the weekend. This is what I use. I'm also going to drag this on my neck. You want to make sure your neck and your face are matching. Oops. There we go. So you guys can see what I'm doing. Make sure your ears. Okay, I'm just gonna get around my nose pin. Okay, so I am pretty happy with the way my foundation looks. Love this foundation. If you haven't tried Makeup Forever in the matte velvet skin, go give this a try. Next, we're gonna contour the face and I'm going to use the Benefit Hula Bronzer, but you can use any bronzer that you have at home. And I'm just taking a round brush like this. Um, this is a Morphe M530 brush and I'm just gonna, that's it. Along your cheekbones. Really just buff it in back and forth, back and forth. 
stay like once you have a line stay above the line otherwise it looks messy you're gonna do this to get rid of your double chin you might not have one but i definitely do <laughs> and then around the forehead just really gonna buff it in in circular motions Okay, then on the edge of my brush, I'm going to pick up a little bit more product and go down my nose. So for the nose area, I like to go right under my eyebrow, connect it to my nose. Okay, same thing on the other side, right under the eyebrow and then connect it to the nose, go all the way down. If I was going to a party, I would use a smaller brush, but because this is an everyday look and it doesn't need to be perfect, um, just some color on my face, that's why I'm using a really big brush. And I'm just going to go under the nose a little bit, shade it. Okay. I don't know if you heard that, but that was my stomach. I need to eat. <laughs> so next I'm going to use um, a blush. This one is by NARS, and this was like a birthday present that they do, and it's gorgeous. The color is Deep Throat. This is the shade. This looks so good on, um, like, our olive skin tone. So I'm going to use my blush brush. Just going to pick up the product. I love blush, so I like to go crazy. I'm going to use a mirror to just blend it out and then smile and just apply And more. <laughs> Just apply it. Back and forth on the skin. Blush, blush. So I love my blush and I like to wear more than one blush. So next I'm going to go in with Milani. Uh, this is the Blossom Time Rose color. It is beautiful. It has a really nice shine to it and I'm just gonna pick some up and then use the mirror it doesn't have a mirror but the plastic case to buff it in and then smile and just apply it to the cheeks okay I like that I like it I like it next we're gonna highlight so for highlighter, I'm using the MAC Skin Finish, and I believe, like, I've had this for probably 10 years. Um, I think it doesn't have a name on it, but I believe this is soft and gentle. I don't even know if they make this anymore, but you can use whatever highlighter you want. And I'm just using a fluffy brush like this. And I'm going to pick up the product, tap off the excess, and just on the cheeks, the high points, I'm going to go back and forth. Highlight. This is an extra step, you don't have to do this for every day, but I like my shine. And then I'm going to get some more. And I'm going to go gentle, like be, look, look at where I'm holding the brush, almost the end. I'm just going to gently, very lightly, like barely touching the face. I'm going to highlight the center of my face, my nose, my lips. And I'm going to take a little bit right here right above the eyebrows with my highlighter shade I also like to do my crease or sorry not my crease my lid so I just like to take it right below the crease in the inner corner like that back and forth really just get it in the inner corner and on the lid okay so now that the face is done, I'm going to use my setting spray from earlier. This is the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like I use too much product because I can't tell if it's on my skin. Um, but that's all I have right now. So I'm just going to apply this. And while that is setting or drying, I'm going to finish my eyebrows. Woo! 
So for my eyebrows, I'm going to use the Essence uh, Make Me Brow. Um, this is like a mascara for your eyebrows, and I'm just going to use it to finish my eyebrows. And I really need a mirror for this. <laughs> so I'm going to use this cute little mirror. I'm just going to set my brows. Perfect. So now for the eyes. My everyday eye is just what I showed you, which is the... Um, highlighter <laughs> and next I like to use a brown eyeshadow pencil so this one is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On um, eye pencil in the shade Bourbon it is a beautiful brown color and it's got a little bit of like glitter to it so it's beautiful and I'm going to apply this just on my lid and I'll show you how like I simple I keep this so I'm just gonna go along the lashes in and out. Same on the other side. In and out. That's it. <laughs> this really glides on super smooth. You don't have to like fight with it, you know? You don't have to go back and forth. It's just done. So now that that's done, I'm going to apply my mascaras and I love the l'oreal voluminous lash paradise um so i use the primer first because it's a crime not to prime and then i use the mascara and this is just in black is black i believe so i'm gonna go apply these and i'll be right back okay so i did my mascara so first i used the primer and then i used the mascara and you can see this is just one coat of primer one coat of mascara and this is what my lashes look like after love this mascara this is my go-to um i did put mascara on my bottom lashes i don't usually do that because this is an everyday look and i want to keep it simple but i was feeling a little bit fancy today so i just put some mascara on the bottom too now for lips i'm going to use two lip colors um to kind of make like a really pretty everyday color i've already moisturized my lips i moisturized my lips before i started the video um so first i'm going to go in with um nyx the soft matte lip cream in Milan super nice pink color I'm just gonna put that on okay next I'm gonna use another NYX lip cream and this one is in Stockholm and it's a nude color so I'm gonna put this right on top oh my god my stomach I'm so sorry okay so we've already set the face and everything and I'm gonna take my hair out now shake my hair out. I just got it cut last week and I'm still trying to figure out my hair but uh, so far I'm happy with it. Okay so this is my everyday makeup look that I do. Super easy, super simple, not a lot of products were used. Um, this is also a look that I would wear to like a wedding because I don't want to wake up three hours before a wedding to get ready. The only thing I would do differently is I would put lashes on. But yes, this is my look. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much.